Next time you take a picture at a privately owned space in the city, like a tourist attraction, you may want to check out the fine print. The most recent installation to become a, an Instagram attraction for New Yorkers is the vessel at Hudson Yards. It has caused a social media frenzy, New Yorkers and tourists alike, snapping selfies in front of the 150-foot tall honeycomb-like structure. But critics uh, realized that there was a questionable policy which says the owners of the vessel get access to content taken uh, either at the site or of the site. After the backlash, they softened the original language to make it clear that visitors still own their photos, but the vessel retains the right to use those images. One city councilman says this is uh, an issue that has shone a light on the issue of uh, ownership of, uh, of pictures in the age of social media. Ben Kalos is uh, proposing legislation that would prevent tourist attractions from forcing visitors to, to give up uh, their ownership. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me on. Did, uh, did Hudson Yards go far enough with this tweak in the language that says, that makes it clear that you still own the photo? So I think the most important part is that they had gone too far by saying that they literally owned any photos or videos that you took and that they could do whatever they wanted with them. Uh, ultimately, they knew they were wrong. They've already changed the policy, but it doesn't mean we shouldn't make that practice illegal. And the new policy still leaves some questions to me. Uh, they're taking a lot of surveillance. And there's a word there that says security, and I want them to keep me safe, mm -hmm. especially at a tourist attraction. But then they want to use my identity for marketing purposes. And I want to keep people's identities safe when they visit a tourist attraction or anywhere in our city. Well, also, there's this weird thing. This is a, it's a public space that was, was mandated a public space in a bigger land development deal that said that uh, there were tax incentives for, for using this space. So, so you walk into what you think is a public park, but you're actually in, in Hudson Yards property and to climb the vessel, you, you go online and you agree to their, their license agreement. The, the, the world is not as simple as it once was. A absolutely, and so as a city council member, whose entire city depends in part on tourism. We have 60 million visitors a year, and I want those folks to know that it's safe to go to any tourist attraction in our city, that the photos and videos they take will be safe and that their identities will be safe, and that folks shouldn't be able to have really long terms and conditions, that I'm an attorney and I've been on the phone with their attorneys arguing about exactly what it says. Other attorneys have weighed in on whether or not these things are even enforceable. Do you, do you, when you, I mean, you get them on your phone all the time, the, the terms and conditions. As an attorney, do you, do you plow through those and read the fine print, or are you like the rest of us? I, I think I'm like the, the rest of us. Uh, honestly, the way I found out about this was when a photographer tweeted about this being wrong. Yeah. And the fact that there's an entire industry of professional photographers who are there for the opening to take photos and realize that all of a sudden people could take their intellectual property, their hard work, without paying for it. What uh, what would you like the city council to, to do on this? Is it just to put a restriction on the, the how, how, far, how far the lawyers can reach with something like this? I think it, it's twofold. First, if they're going to have a policy, there should be signage. So most of the museums I go to either have a sign that say no photos or take as many photos as you like or no flashes, what have you. Uh, some places like uh, Madison Square Garden or others might have a sign that says you can be filmed and you might end up on TV. Well, you see that sometimes if they're, they're, they're filming on a block. There's a sign at the beginning yeah. of the block that says we're going to be doing a show here. If you don't want to be on the show, walk on the other side of the street. Exactly. So yeah. one piece would be signage and disclosure. The other piece would just say taking people's Pictures, videos, and their identities is just too far. That should be illegal. Councilmember Callis, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Seven